Yeah, Lisbon's really famous for its tiles. It's gorgeous, it's like I can see stuff. why. It's beautiful. Look at these guys. They're about Whoa. to go over the hill. Oh my god. <laughs> So many hills to be honest we were saying that people in the city must be extremely fit um, and also if you're coming to Lisbon bring good walking shoes because it's all cobblestoned and kind of tiled so you need to have good grip to be honest or else you'd be slipping and sliding all over the place um, but yeah I think we should be nearly at Airbnb now so Airbnb tour incoming. Kat how are you getting on with this suitcase? <laughs> I'm glad it's not downhill at the moment. <laughs> Jesus, squeaky bum time here. <laughs> oh, we must be nearly there. Oh, my cat's struggling. Rebecca's marching off. <laughs> and yeah, Jesus, we're going to be doing a lot of this today. <laughs> a lot of this today. Okay, it is day two of Lisbon. And uh, we're going up to the castle for a little, a little market on Saturdays and Sundays. Um, so we're he hiking up. And Jack has dashed off to grab some Benfica tickets. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. It's not sold out. Not if it's not sold out. Um, and then we're going to go to Belém. Belém it's called. And I think that's the plan so far. I may be time out market as well. But Jesus, these hills are puffed. <laughs> What's the hill in Cork called? The really steep hill. It's like going up 10 Patrick's hills in a row. <laughs> Give it we had a pit stop for uh, <laughs> taking pictures so we could get our breath back. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, you should be fit for the half marathon next week. Yeah, training hasn't gone to plan, Chloe. Training hasn't gone to plan. But I'm feeling good. Today is like a good day. I've had a good sleep. I feel like if I had to run it today, I'd be alright. <laughs> really? Yeah. In, in, just, in not, just not in Lisbon. It's no. too hot and it's too hilly. Oh, we did it knock down. Um, in case I wanted to do a quick little 5k. <laughs> did you? And, um, 
Yeah. yeah. Don't think I'm going to, to be honest. It's not the right terrain. The right... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Look at the view down there. Oh, that is actually incredible. Wow. You can see the Golden oh, Gate the... Bridge. Christ the Redeemer as well. You know you there? Yes, I think it's like two minutes. Perfect. We've made it to the market. Oh, it's an Asian market as well. Big fleas. Oh, fleas. We love flea market. We were back and love flea market. That, that was in the translation we got from the our Airbnb lady. Big fleas. Big flea market. Oh my god, I feel like this is the throwback to flowers. And we were haggling for the jewellery. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cool. I know, a selfish woman stole all the jewellery. Look back to the Florence vlog for that one. We've got yeah, prints. I really like prints. I've got clothes. We've got jewellery bits. Wow. But yeah, we're in the markets now, it's actually huge and um, you can get everything here really from postcards to little trinkets mm -hmm. to clothes to loads of sunglasses, loads of sunglasses, <laughs> piles of them, <laughs> literal piles. Um, it's so nice and the weather is just perfect. We're just kind of on the hunt for now, a nice coffee I think and a Portuguese tart. Uh, <laughs> a nice little black coffee. <laughs> I still haven't had a custard tart so I need to have one I think in the next couple of minutes. So yeah, I'm kind of in the mood like for a sweet treat. Good recommendation from our Airbnb house. Exactly, good recommendation. Oh yeah, I'm going to do an Airbnb tour later on I think because I highly recommend to stay in this Airbnb. It's the nice Airbnb. Airbnb I've ever stayed in, I think. Yeah, it's massive. It's, it's lovely. <laughs> it's like a mansion. It actually is. Everyone's got so much space. Yeah, so much space. Anyway, so yeah. Wow, it's hot and sun. I might have to do some more sun cream. <laughs> I really like these crochet um, tops. And I also quite like these little vests. I'm kind of tempted to get one. Hmm. These are quite nice too for like a festival or something, a little halter neck. The, the colours are just amazing and the price is so good. I think this is like £25, which is brilliant. So nice. Tempted. <laughs> Tempted. I'm loving all these little tuk-tuks around. They're so cute. But um, that market was 10 out of 10. Amazing. Um, everyone picked up those souvenirs. I got a little bracelet for one, one euro. Catherine got some jewellery. And I think Garrett got a donut. <laughs> oh, yeah, donut was good. <laughs> um, poor Jack tried to pick up some football tickets, but he wasn't successful, so he's going to join us now in the castle. And I think it's really time for a custard tart, if you ask me, or an ice cream. <laughs> we found the custard tart shop. This is my first one of the holiday. They're huge. Ooh. Ooh. Verdict? Mmm. Oh my god, there's so much in it. Really? Verdict? Mmm. Oh nice, look at that burn. <laughs> you love burn. Love burn cheesecake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cheesecake. Dara, verdict? Mm, very good. 10 out of 10? Um, ooh, could be, yeah. Really? Could be. Well, wow. 10 out of 10 is in like the best I've ever had of custard tarts. Oh wow, that's a good compliment. So, I haven't had a lot of custard tarts, but it's up there. <laughs> oh my god, I'm excited to tuck in. Me and Rebecca are the half one. We're going in. Mmm, oh my god. So grumbly. God, I know what you mean. They're properly filled. They're so deep. They're so deep. Mmm. Mm, yeah. Cool, isn't it? Beautiful. Oh, did you get a snap with the lemon tree and the tiles? We spotted some lemons. Especially when you're doing the direction. Tart. I can always have a tiny. The tarts we just got are from this. Oh, 
called Nata and Friends and it's right by the castle. This is a sardine shop. All different types of sardines. Can you get sardine gift bag? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look at this sardine is from 1942. Ooh, that'll be smelly. It'll be a stinker. <laughs> that looks like 19, 1942. Yeah. Oh my god, that's 52 euro. Wow. <laughs> this is like a stair lift. That's what it reminds yeah. me of. It's like a speed. We've arrived to what's the called? Plaza do Comercio. Louise is now fluent in, in Portuguese oh, and Spanish. <laughs> yeah, look I, at that. I'm it. sure I absolutely butcher it. Like. No, <laughs> beautiful though. It's stunning. stunning. Look at the pina coladas. I'm tempted. Are you getting one? Are you getting one, Jack? Yeah. I went for a sangria and Kat went for a mini, mini bock, a mini bock. <laughs> We've arrived at the shop, the original, the original custard tart shop and there's actually a queue. So we've joined the queue. Going in. Jack, what are you getting? Uh, I'm getting a rhubarb pasta. No, I'm actually going to see if I can get like an alternative flavor. Yeah, yeah. The goodies. Got the goodies. So we have one each. Yeah. Alright. Are you doing a show and tell? Yeah. Shall I put it in my hand? Is that yeah. Yeah, I gave it. Ooh. 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 The big reveal. Oh, yeah. The big reveal. Oh. The original oh. recipe. Beautiful. The secret recipe. Thank you. How many tarts have you had oh, so far cool. this holiday? Chloe, your tart? Oops. Three. Here's my fourth. Oh, Gareth. I, I, I think you saying my second. Oh, Jesus. oh my god. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Slancha. Slancha. Bam. We are down at Balham Monastery. We've just not picked Balham. up, but not Balham from London, <laughs> Balen, where we picked up a couple of pastel bananas and we're very full now, so we're washing it down with an iced coffee. So yeah, we're just roaming and uh, we've got a cultural packed day tomorrow in Sintra looking at palaces and such. So we're not too keen to go into museums and things today. So it's just a day of wandering uh, and exploring and seeing the sights. So far, I think, how many tarts have we had all together? I've actually had three. I don't think I've had three in two days, so it's pretty good actually, not too many. I've had three today, one yesterday. Excellent. Yeah, we're, we're doing well on the tarts, but I think that one is probably going to be the best. Yeah, yeah, that one's very good. Yeah, that's probably the most famous path. I think that's actually where it was invented. So yeah, if you want to know, that's where the pastel danada Portuguese custard tart was invented. By, um, by monks, we believe. Oh, you know, it's a little glamorous thing. Yeah. Oh, nice and gold. <laughs> no expenses spared here. Do you remember that the last time, Jack? No, that's new. <laughs> <laughs> To the Pink Street. Gals, get in. Gals. So I don't know if you can hear me, but this basically this Pink Street used to be the red light district, and then they just painted it pink. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool actually. We're gonna have a little drink here, and then go for a bite to eat, I think. But it's it, uh, it's very rowdy, so we'll see how we get on. But yeah, it's really cool. We have arrived in Sintra. We're going into the Green Castle, Jack's favourite. Back at the palaces of Sintra. Um, and we were just very excited. We're going to go out. We're going to go into all the palaces today. No, I think we've got two palaces and one garden, so grounds of one of the palaces. So yeah, we're going to the main one, Penna, which is the one you probably are familiar with, the yellow and red one. 
And then this is a penna pasta. Penna pasta. And this is a, this is a particularly cool one then, yeah. but in the Sintra Valley. Uh, anyway, so we're gonna go in here and check it out. It's about um, half an hour drive from Lisbon. So we're, like out, we're out in the sticks here, but it's a bit cooler. It is. We're up, the, we're up in the mountains a little bit. Yeah. Um, and yeah, there's some cloud cover too, so. Oh, back, back, back out, back out, guys. What did you find? We're out. You find nothing. We've been in there for weeks. <laughs> I'm coming up. It's this little thing. It's this little wow. thing. Little. That's it. Got this turret next. Okay. We've lost Aaron Louise. Louise might be in one of the caves. I think that might be the case. Okay, we're going up turret number two. It's a one-way system. Yeah. Still ongoing. Yeah. There's a tippity top. Whoa. Up above the trees. I love the Castle it's just wrapped around the hill like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's unbelievable. I love it. That is such a cool castle. Which is like the, I think that's the really old one. We could, like we could just room. keep this as like a stronghold, you know? Just like <laughs> this, this anyone that tries to come up. First palace done, on to the second. We're going to the Penne, Penne Pasta Palace? <laughs> the Penne Palace next, which is the 40 minute walk from this current palace we've been to. Nearly there. Nearly, nearly at the, what's it called, the Penne, Penne Pasta Palace, nearly there. But this walk is not for the faint-hearted, honestly. It's all... 500 metres to go. Roughly. 500 metres to go on the steps. Oh, sorry, excuse me. 395. 395. 395 metres to go, and we've been hiking for the last 40 minutes. It's all little steps. The surface is very uneven. Dara has decided to wear flip-flop. He's going on grand, but... God bless <laughs> It wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't be for me. We made it. We made it, Lou. We did. Thank God. Here we are. The Penne Palace. Good morning and welcome to our last, our last day, well half day in Lisbon. Right lads, I promised you all an Airbnb tour so here it is. We stayed in this basically mansion of Airbnb. Here's me and Jack's room, um, which had a roof terrace, which was amazing. We used to have breakfast up here as well as drinks in the evening. Um, and yeah, you could see the castle from here and you could also see this really pretty area up on the hill. Here's the kitchen um, with the really cool rainbow floor. And out the back, you could see some other flats and this magnificent pool obsessed with this floor how cool how cool i feel like i want something like this in my future house to be honest <laughs> we're hoping to ride the little trams down to the city but the queue is so so long look how long the queue is so i don't think we'll be waiting for an hour <laughs> oh no this was top of my list of things to do and we're going to head to a quieter tram instead. <laughs> so we're going to get a little uh, Bolt. Bolt is great here by the way, if anyone's in Lisbon, get Bolt. This is so cheap. <laughs> and then we're going to go to our favourite brunch place called Breakfast Lovers, which is our top recommendation. <laughs> And Gareth's up the front, he's a real speedy boy. Gareth's the co-pilot. The there he is. <laughs> Gareth's the co-pilot. Gareth's loving this, to be there honest. Is. Gareth. Get, get 
Oh my god, this is so cool. Jack, thanks for the recommendation. Yeah, it's alright. This is so much better, this one. So much better. Yeah. Whoa. Spacious. Spacious. Oh my god, my bag is literally like out the back. Are you okay? <laughs> Perfect to me. Ginger. 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 Okay, we've, we've got a shot of ginger for the road ginger. before we <laughs> board our flight. It's a, it is cherry liqueur and it's famous to this region of Portugal. Cheers. 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 Nice. Goodbye, Lisbon. Bye! <laughs> Aww. Sad.